What is up y'all, it's the Eric V, your stream teach here. And using a DSLR camera can really set you apart from your peers on Twitch. I'm using my streaming camera right now, just so you know. And it really makes my streams look really good, really professional. So what we're gonna do today is learn how to use a cam link. That cam link can let you use your DSLR camera like a webcam. Now keep in mind, before we even get into the rest of this video, lighting is still important. If you have poor lighting, your camera's gonna look poor no matter how much you've paid for it. So let's get into the details of how to do it. Class is in session. Alrighty, so before you even buy the cam link, the first thing you want to do is check the compatibility list and make sure that your camera is on it. My particular camera is a Sony A5100, so these are pretty reliable and it barely meets the requirements if you're judging off the sequence of this list here. But it's a very good option. I use it for all my videos. I use it for all my streams. And this actually tells you exactly what you need to know. And I'm pretty... I'm kind of excited about that because I was going to go down my list of everything you need, but you do need a micro HDMI. And what that is, is basically just the cable that comes from the camera into the cam link itself. And you want to power the camera using a dummy battery. Now I've done 12 hour streams with this camera and I know that sometimes when it comes to using cam link or using DSLR cameras, there's a concern about overheating. My camera has never overheated to the point where I had to shut it off or I was worried about it or I smelled a weird smell. So I can attest to the Sony A5100 being a good camera to use. So, and there's also a setup guide here and a quality sample here, but who needs those videos when you got this video? So the reason you wanna make sure that your camera meets these requirements is that you want clean HDMI out and clean HDMI out is basically making sure that you don't have all the statistics on the actual stream screen when you plug in the cam link and cool enough on Elgato's website this link will be in the description by the way it has the full a partial or a none compatibility list and you see that my Sony a5100 has a green making sure that it is full capability. I also have a Canon here on my desk. It is a Canon Rebel T5i. And let's see if that's compatible. And as we look at the list, that camera isn't even on it. So we know that that camera is not compatible. So we either buy another camera or we use another way to capture our camera if we happen to only have a Canon Rebel T5i. After you've made sure that you have the camera and that camera meets the requirements, your next step is to buy the cam link. And as you can see here from Amazon, the cam link is currently $114. It's a lot better than it was earlier in the pandemic. If you were looking at prices back then, these things were getting scalped like PS5s. So honestly, if you want to get one renewed, that's a hundred bucks. So that's an option as well. So once you have everything together, you're going to make sure that you plug your micro HDMI cable or whatever applicable cable it is for you into your camera. And then you're plugging the HDMI side of that into your cam link. Once that's plugged into the cam link, you can put that in your USB 3.0 port on your computer. And when you plug that cam link into your computer, it should install any drivers it needs automatically. So it's really convenient. It's pretty plug and play. So once that's done, you're going to plug in your dummy battery into the camera and you're going to plug that into an electrical outlet and then whatever applicable mode for you. I know on the Sony a5100, if you go into settings, you will see a HDMI info display. You want to make sure that's turned off so that all the statistics for the camera aren't showing on the actual screen within OBS. And then what I like to do, because I like having that nice blurry bokeh effect, I go into movie and then aperture mode for that effect. Now, the lower the number, the higher the bokeh. That's pretty much it. After you have everything plugged in, adding the camera from the cam link is just as easy as it would be to add a webcam. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign under sources and then click on video capture device. 
and I will name this A5100 in case I want to use multiple cameras just for my convenience. And I'm going to click OK. And the Cam Link 4K is the first device in the list. So it appears. So once we do that, we can just click OK and use the Cam Link however we want. It is that easy. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple process as long as you meet all the requirements for using the Elgato Cam Link. If you have any issues at all, feel free to leave a comment or you can just join my Discord and I have a whole channel about anything streaming related that you can ask questions about. And if you're wondering what the hell is going on with my microphone, that can also be answered at my Twitch channel. But that is it for now. If you think this video will benefit anyone else, feel free to share that to them. And feel free to like the video just to give the video a little bit more discoverability so we can help out more people out there. My cat just, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> that's it. Class dismissed. Does it make sense now? I'm a maniac with a gun. <laughs> somebody, somebody clip that. <laughs>